Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Jusahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to delete our data from database. So, let's open our previous project. So, this is our previous project and right now, open our category screen. So, let's run our app and let's go to our categories. And in the previous, we have add these features, which is update. And when we press this edit button, it will show us dialog. All right. And let's cancel. And when we press this button, nothing appears. So to do that, firstly, we need to open our category screen. And nothing appear. It's because we haven't yet implement anything in our on press. So to do that, firstly, we need to duplicate our form dialog. So let's say we duplicate edit form dialog and just paste below that. And the next step is we rename our edit form dialog so let's say delete form dialog so in this form we used to show something like are you sure want to delete this item this form makes a uh, user experience to be better i think so we have create delete form dialog and then for our delete form dialog we don't want to show content so we need to delete this and for the button we change to delete all right and then let's implement this in our delete button so just call our method inside our on press let's say delete form dialog and we say context and hot reload and press this and now we see edit categories form so we need to change our title to be are you sure you want to delete this and we need to change our delete button color and our cancel button color i think we need to back to our delete form dialog and we say let's say green and the second is this to red and for the title let's say are you sure you want to delete this and hot reload again and press our delete button and now we see are you sure you want to delete this and when we press this delete button our item will be deleted from our database and when we press cancel it will be back to our category screen all right so to do that we need to say or we need to delete this and then we need to change category service and we say delete category and we see warning because we haven't yet create so like the before just press this create method delete category and it will automatically navigate to category service so we give command right here and inside our delete category method we should provide a parameter we name it as category id after that we make our method to be asynchronous and inside our method we should return as a wait and then we call our repository and we say delete data and we see warning again because we haven't yet created this method so just create and it automatically navigate to our repository class so give comment again and we make our method to be asynchronous and inside our method like the before we say and we call or we initialize our database and we return as await and we want to return connection and we say 
row delete. And inside this, we say or we write SQL syntax, which is delete from our table. So we should provide two parameters right here. The first one is table and the second one is item ID. So we call our table name and then where where ID equal to item ID and don't forget to provide semicolon look like this so delete from our table name where condition or where the ID is equal to item ID so we back to our category service and inside our delete data we should provide our table names which is category and for the item ID we provide category ID all right and we back to our category screen and inside this we should call our category ID and we give comma right here and we see warning because we haven't yet give category ID parameter inside this so I think we should call category list and then index and dot id all right let's restart our app and we back to category screen and let's delete family are you sure you want to delete this and just press delete and now our item has been deleted from our database and let's delete again let's say business press delete and delete it so let's create another let's say we create again business and we give description and press save and i think our save method or save button haven't yet implement real time so we go to our save button and as we can see right here we haven't yet call get all categories so when we go back to our categories actually our item has been created but it's not load real time so let's hot restart and create again let's try to create family and and just press save and now our save button created by real time so loaded by real time all right so we just need to call our get all categories as simple as that so we have implement delete method we have load our database real time and yeah i think enough our video today See you on the next video.